Yo, what's up, what's up? Jumping on live here. Yo, what's up, fam? Uh, it's a beautiful raining day right now in Tulum. I figured I'd jump on live to meet up with all of you, my beautiful people, especially my 333 tribe. Uh, we got some 333 tribe winners and I wanted to jump on live with them. Coming to you live all the way from Tulum, Mexico, one of my favorite places in the world. Um, I come here every single year for my birthday. So what's good everybody? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Do me a favor and let me know where are you in the world? Drop where are you in the world? You want to drop your first name and where in the world are you? I'm in Tulum, Mexico. What's up? What's up, people? What's good? What's up? What's up? What's up, Rudy? What's happening, everybody? Good vibes. Friday. Happy Friday. God bless you all. Love all the greenery. Yes, absolutely gorgeous here. One of my favorite places. So inspirational. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. The man, the myth, the legend. Let's go. I know you're talking about yourself. Let me be a reflection of you. What's good, Lauren? I love you. Thank you so much for hopping on. My soul sister, Lauren Messiah. Guys, make sure you follow her. She is an absolute badass entrepreneur. You got to go definitely follow Lauren. Ashley, for the love of my life. Thank you for joining us. Spending so much quality time with her here in Tulum. We got Rocchio from Santa Maria, California. We got Kev from Indiana. We got Kentucky in the house. What's up? What's good? My guy, you inspired me to work harder every day. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Um, let's see. I got Ireland in the house. What's up? I see my Ireland people. What's good? What's good? So um, let's see. So listen, if you are a 333 Tribe winner, send me a request. We'll pop on live. I'd love to just jam with you, connect with you. Nathan, what's going on, brother? Much love to you as well. Um, the one word of wisdom that I will share with you all today that's been coming up with my mastermind group, we talked about it this week. Really, uh, gosh, I talked about the law of character and the law of character, I broke it down in two core areas. I, I challenge all of you to think about your character, to list out your character traits, but I really went deeper into two for me, integrity and discipline. And for all of you, I, want you, I, I challenge you to really look at where you have been within integrity in everything that you do, with the people in your life, the people you love, in your business, with your words, and really keeping your word and honoring your word. And honoring your word within integrity is so important because so many of us, you know, we're human, we make mistakes. That's just the truth. Even the most elite, highest performers make mistakes with their word. But it's about honoring that word and owning up to when you fuck up. Making a mistake is normal. Sometimes you miss expectations, but it's honoring that and having the courage to step up and honor that word. So I challenge you all to think about where in your life may you, maybe you're lacking a little integrity, right? You're not keeping your word. And more importantly, even when you don't keep your word, you're not honoring your word, right? And actually taking ownership of when you're actually saying something and not following through with that commitment, right? The next aspect was discipline. I talked about discipline this week. Oh, we got India in the house. I see you. Yes, Ireland, Los Angeles. Woo, I love it. Yes, I love it, I love it. Well, I see someone who asked a question here. Where, Dude, what does it take to build a six-figure business? Well, I'll tell you one that takes a, takes what it takes you, I'll tell you one thing that it takes to build a seven-figure, if not eight-figure business. I built two of them, two eight-figure businesses, multiple seven, and it is self-discipline. It is discipline. It is in the small things that you do every single day day that gets you to eventually building up building an empire and I talked about this in my mastermind this week we were, we're doing a challenge the conscious leader challenge and I created a, a new what I call the master the conscious leader mastery metrics and it's based on five areas of your life and I challenge you all to look at these areas in your life okay first being hustle right and breaking that down so for you hustle could be priorities and profits that's what it is for me the next is health right so hustle health, really looking at your routine, your rituals, your energy, your exercise, all right? So hustle, health, harmony. Harmony is a huge, huge one. Every day, how are you creating harmony in your life, right? 
For me, that's gratitude, that's God, that's community, compassion, these words, right? And how am I practicing these things every single day to create harmony in my life? So we got hustle, we got harmony, we got help. The next is, let's say, uh, heart, right? So heart, how are you activating your heart intelligence every single day? How are you showing love? How are you showing appreciation every single day, right? How are you activating your heart so many of us, we, we, we're crushing it in business. We're changing people's lives. We're fucking making money. We're growing, but we're neglecting these other areas of our life, right? We may, maybe, it's the, maybe it's the health, maybe it's the harmony, maybe it's the heart and creating love. And see, for me, I'm lucky. I got you know, a, a, a empress by my side, Ashley. So maybe you're lacking that. Maybe you're lacking that self-love, right? The next is, so we got hustle, we got health, we got harmony, we got heart. And the last one of the H5, the last one is happiness. So how are you creating happiness in your life? For me, that's purpose and that's play. So that's making sure that I'm activating my purpose every single day. I'm in service every day. That brings me happiness and then also play. I'm making sure that I'm, I take time to go out, whether it's play basketball, play soccer, go swim in the ocean and go play go play with, with, with Tucker and, and play with the dog. Go go um, scuba diving, um, whatever that may be for you. Like go play, go hike, go do something that's gonna integrate play into your life. So those are the H5 guys. Think about that, how you're activating those things in your life and then study them. For us, what we have is the mastery metrics to study in all five areas of your life. How are you actually having the discipline to do all the small actionables that play into those categories every single day for your health, for your hustle, for the harmony, for your heart, and for your happiness every single day. And you, and you, what we've done is there's levels to that. There's level one, level two, level three to how hard you want to go with those things. But the more that you stay dedicated, committed, devoted, and you actually implement, have the discipline to implement all those small actions every single day, not only will you build a six, seven, eight figure business, but you will truly become a master, right? Self-mastery is everything. And when you improve the leader, you genuinely improve the business. So having said that, guys, I hope that gave you some passion, some knowledge. Shout out to all of you that have applied for the mastermind, by the way. I'm still going through applications. I just got through a whole bunch and I just approved 39 new applications. I sent you booking links to get on a call with me, but know that this is a serious investment, okay? It's a big investment of not just money, but time, energy, and it's a commitment. I'm looking for leaders that can truly commit to being a part of this tribe, okay? This tribe of conscious leaders that are devoted to the path of self-mastery and community, as well as growing your brand, growing your business, growing your, you know, activating your missions. So I'm excited. If you're interested in that, guys, all you gotta do is click the link in my bio to apply. It's only this month. After this month, its doors are closed. So if you wanna be a part of my tribe, there's only for 33 leaders, apply now with the link in my bio. So let's see, do we have any 333? Where's my 333 tribe? If you're part of the 333 tribe and you've been commenting on my posts within the first three minutes and 33 seconds, comment right now, 333 tribe, so I can see all my 333 tribe winners. Shout out to every single one of you that have been engaging with my content. It's Friday, so I just wanna say thank you, all of you, for following me on my journey that I can't tell you how important and how meaningful it is to me to see you guys commenting on my stuff, engaging with me, your DMs, your emails, like every single one of you inspired me to keep showing up for you, to keep sharing vulnerably all the lessons, all the failures, all the wins, all the everything, all the wisdom. I appreciate every single one of you for being on the live. There you go, my three, 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 three tribe winners, I love it. All right, so let's see, do we have any, who, that any of the winners that have come on. I know uh, Jesus was a winner. We had a couple others. I don't know if I see you guys in here. Uh, let's pull on Katerina. Let's see what she's got going on. Let's bring on one of the 333 tribe. What's up, what's up? Yeah. What's up, Gerard? Yo, what's good? How you doing? Doing well. Thank you so much. Oh, perfect. You came on and it's little, there was literally 33 people on here. So I love it. Uh, signs. So, first of all, I just want to thank you for your work, for just how open you are and, you know, the way you 
motivate each and every one of us and the fact that you interact with us. Um, and my question for you is for all of the beginner entrepreneurs, maybe the entrepreneurs who never even considered entrepreneurship, but now they're here and they're just ready to embrace it. So my backstory or my story right now is, you know, I'm starting graduate school, I'm working a job, and I'm also pursuing my passion of being a subconscious mind and meditation coach. So I'm juggling many things. <laughs> yeah, so my, <laughs> yeah. So my two in one question is, if you were me, what book would you read? And what would you invest in other than yourself and a business coach? <laughs> well, that's, you're on it because you know that that's what uh, that's basically like the two first answers that I usually tell everybody is right. You got to invest into yourself. You got to, you know, getting a coach and hiring a mentor is one of the greatest investments I've ever made. Um, so even though you said other than that, no, like that really are the, that's the epitome. Like I genuinely and I know you know that, but I just want to continue to reiter reiterate for anyone, especially if you're coming into entrepreneurship, it's like know that you don't have to do this alone and invest into these, whether it's masterminds, whether it's a one on one coach, whether it's an event, like really continue to invest. And then I'll, on the tail end of that, I will say it really comes down to relationships. Because when we think investment, a lot of times we think just money. But every single one of you that is on this live right now are an investor. And I want you to start thinking like an investor. And I want you to understand that being an investor doesn't mean just your money. Being an investor means your energy, means your time, the thing that's finite, that you can't get back, right? So I really want you to think about that. And I want you to start investing that time and that energy, not just your money, into one yourself, but also your relationships. Go and I believe community is the new currency. And that was something that I heard from a, a buddy of mine, Preston Smiles. And I was, I couldn't agree more. So I invest into community right now. Like that is where it's at. So whatever that looks like for you, like leaders create leaders. That's like the number, number one goal for me is to create a community. You know, I think, I don't know if you know, Mon do you know my sister, Monica Adams? I'm, I'm a heart led leader. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, you're a heart led leader. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's why, that's why I said other than a business coach, because I'm already, yeah. I've already invested in that and you know, everything you're saying like I'm really experiencing and living it you know yeah. it's one thing to work on yourself but right yeah so the the the, the, the other aspect is your business you know You're breaking up a little bit. I'm losing you a little bit. Oh, I hope you come back. Let's see if she's, uh... hey guys, can you see me okay? Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you can see her because it's a little hard to see her for me. Okay, cool. I think, I, I think you're there. So if you could just repeat that one more time. Are you there, Katerina? Get her back on here in a second and we can get some. But I just want to say, guys, best investment, even though she said it, she's working with hard led leaders, right? So it's like get a coach, get a mentor, invest in yourself. And then what I was going to say to her is, well, let's see if I can get her. She got frozen. Let's see if we can get Kat back on here. Um, I see my man Jeremy Hoffman's in here. Lauren, some of the Leaders Create Leaders tribe. I love you guys. Let's see, we lost her. Uh, hoping we can get her back. <laughs> yeah, she's in another dimension right now. Yeah, so, oh man, I was gonna go deeper with her, really, because invest into your business. You know, double down, double down on your business, double down on, you know, your team and in, invest in the people around you. I really believe that I wouldn't be the successful entrepreneur I am, if I didn't have the team and 
I'm continuing to expand that team. So you got to invest in your team around you. And the thing is, is like, I've always found people that match the character and then I've invested in them and invested in their skills. But as you start to become more successful, you can go and find people that have the experience, no longer get people that are, you know, they're there and, and you're teaching them. You get people that are literally smarter than you and it's worth it. Sometimes you're hiring people that, you know, it's they, their salary is a lot more than typical. You're, maybe you're giving them the, you know, you're giving them the hundred K salary. Maybe you're giving them the, you know, but it's worth it because you don't have to ask them, to tell them what to do. They're telling you what to do. Let's even get Kat back on here. Some vibes over here, some vibes in Tulum. All right, we got you back, yes. <laughs> so Kat, yes. I was just, I would love to, you know, hear what you were saying. Um, I don't know if you, you heard what I was saying, but basically I was talking about built, investing into team if you, if you don't have a team. But why don't you hit me? What are your, what are your thoughts? You thought you went to another dimension. I did. I'm always in another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely agree. And as I was saying, I don't know if you heard, um, I'm actually really living this experience right now of, you know, I, I, I hit my ceiling of growing on my own and I feel to really thrive further. You need that community, you know, that those individuals with like mindset to continue to grow and evolve and flourish. So I thank you so much for that. And one more thing I wanted to know is what book would Read, if you were me Ooh, that's good that's good so i'm i just want to first and foremost i just want to say cat i honor you i honor you for doing the work i honor you for going inwards i honor you for hiring that coach i honor you for being a heartless leader you know this is what we need in the world right now so and for you to be a humble student like i'm still a humble student we all are the fact that you're on here right now connecting with me and asking these questions is huge. I just want to honor you and continue to keep doing this work because we need you in the world. And I can already see how freaking powerful you are and how many people that you're going to impact. So it's a blessing to connect with you. And I'm just so, so happy for you. Um, as far as a book, there's so many. There's so many books. I, I would say it depends on, it depends. What are you looking for? You know, is it a business book? You're looking for a more of a spiritual book. Are you looking for a productivity book to be more productive? I think a uh, business book. Definitely. Can you hear me? What was it? Business, business. Okay, business book. You know, I'm going to give my boy, he just wrote it, my boy Vision a shout out. I don't know if you saw my episode, episode one of Leaders Great Leaders. I did it with the founder of Mind Valley. Mind Valley mm -hmm. is the number one personal growth website right now in the in the world. It's a really great business book that he wrote. That's called The Buddha and the Badass, and awesome. he really breaks down a lot of things that he's learned in building that company. And I really feel it's new age. He he understands how to build culture, because like I really believe the. the the culture you create is, is, is how you create a movement, right? Beyond a business, but something that people spread word of mouth. I still believe, even though we have all this technology, one of the, I believe the strongest form of marketing still is having such a quality customer experience and product that people talk about it for you. You don't even have to have the funnel or the Facebook ads or any of that stuff because people find it so valuable and the experience is so you know the experiential we're all looking for that experiential culture in within a company right and i think that vision has done a phenomenal job at doing that in the new age so get the buddha in the badass all right cat well it's a pleasure to connect with you i'm going to see if another 333 tribe winner is in here keep doing what you're doing 100 percent. thank you for connecting and say what's up, say what's up to. Thank you. Doing the work. We need leaders. I love it. I love it. That was amazing. I'm so happy to connect with other conscious leaders that are doing this work. Yo, when we're aligned and you have community, and you have a mission, God's mission, and you, you, know, you have the discipline and self-mastery, and you got the, the love in your life, I mean, you can have it all. 
and, and let me be that representation to you. And I and I'm not only do I have it all, but I want to play bigger. How many of you comment below right now and give me an emoji of how you want to play over the next six months? How do you want to play over the next six months? Because I want to play way, way bigger. When everyone else, you know, in the world right now is going through that pain and fear, you have an opportunity to play way bigger and lift up the world, empower the world, and, and truly play in abundance. And I want all I want that for all of you. So comment below, show me those emojis. I want you all to play bigger. All right. Play bigger these next six months. I'm telling you, six months right now of self-mastery, discipline, and integrity and community, you know, and, and just showing up more powerfully as a brand, as a voice, activating that, those parts of you, freaking shedding these shadows. These six months could be the most powerful six months of your life that set you up for the next 10 years, for this decade of 2020. And I want that for every single one of you, all right? This is your moment right now. All right, so let's see if anyone else is on here that's a 333 winner before I jump off and go get some Tulum food. Sunita Movement, I like your hat and your profile picture. You seem mad cool. I see you, Angelina, in here. We got Alex in here. We got Owen in here, El Sed in here, Ruby, Melina. I love it. I love it. Ch Chastity, I love you guys. I'm so excited to connect with you. Brian Odyssey, my man who's doing the most sickest graphic designs. Brian, bro, thank you so much for those graphic designs. I got another one that's going to be posted this coming week. Keep them coming, man. They're fucking so powerful. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. All right, guys. So I was supposed to, there's supposed to be two more winners. I don't see them on here yet, so I'm going to have to probably do another live. But I hope this was valuable. I hope it sparked a little bit of love, a little bit of motivation, a little bit of just whatever that was that you needed today to just spark that that you needed within you so that you can go back and continue to just rise. I want you guys to just rise and ascend. I love you guys so much. All the way from Tulum here, I'm going to give you a little hello to my queen real quick, my empress. Say hi, babe. Show them your swing, babe. Oh my gosh, I love you. You're the best. I think I my pizza. Oh, let me see. Oh Ooh, let me get some hearts for the pizza. <laughs> wow. Woo. Yeah. I told you, you can have it all. You can have it all. Everything. The money. You can have it all, all the stuff that there's stigma around. You can have the money, you can have the fame, you can have the spiritual growth, you can have the, the home, you can have the prosperity, you can have the abundance, you can have the wisdom. Everything that you desire, you can have. It's all right in here. All right in here. Don't look externally, just go right here. All right, I love you guys. And um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Be the leader.